Yes, yes. Let me look if the stream is all right. Shalom, shalom. Okay. Street, the stream is good. Yeah. So yeah, man. So we're gonna dive into this straight away. But first of all, first and foremost, we want to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, 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 Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash, Bashem, Rakakodash. Shalom, Yahweh Bashem, Double Bashem, Rakakodash, Brakata. Double honors to the bitch, uh, uh, apostles, bishops, and elders of great millstone who teach and do rule well and taught us the truth out of the Bible and amongst other things. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered to all four corners of the earth, our fellow laborers who push in this uh, work and work in truth and sincerity all across the globe. Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, man. So, Salakia, we got a little bit, you know, with... Uh, a, a little bit delay in the video, you so you see, so uh, so lucky yeah, for that the latency. <laughs> so yeah, man. So uh, yeah, you see the title, man. You know, uh, in this truth, we need to be uh, sober-minded, man. You see, and not intoxicated uh, like the world is, man. Because people are wandering around drunk, you know. People are all over, uh, all over the place, man. Messed up because why? They don't have this truth, man. And if you have this truth. Hey man, you're gonna be you're gonna stay sober, man. You're gonna stay uh focused, you're gonna be alert, man. You see, you're gonna be circumspect, you're gonna look around, you know, in your refinement and everything, what is going on, man. That is that, that is how you need to be in this truth, man. You cannot be like, hey man, do what you want, live how you want. You know, that is not the way it is, man. In this truth, man. In this truth, you need to be circumspect, man. A circum is kind of bring it out. This is uh, first Peter's five, verse eight. Uh, my Bible's staring up. First Peter's five, verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a royal lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You see. You see, so your adversary, who's your adversary? Your adversary is, uh, is, 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 is Esau, Edom, is all the other heathen nations, you know, because they're all against, uh, against us, man. And if you are not focused, and even your own people, and especially your own people, man, you see, they always try to put or pull a fast one on you, man. So if you are not focused, man, if you're not sober, you know, you're going to be devoured, man. And especially by Esau either, man, because he wants to devour you, man. He wants you, you Hebrew Israelites, don't never be seen anymore, man. Because that is what his, his, his goal is, man. He wants to see you down, man. So he's seeking for you to devour you, man. And if you're going to fall for the trap, you know what is going to happen? You're going to lose, man. And Yahweh Shem Yashai ain't going to be that hatch anymore for you, man. That's why you need to be sober, man, in this truth, man. Yeah, man. You got another precept? Yeah. Let me see. This is uh, John 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abide not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you can convince me, convince me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe? So this is red letters. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. And like you were saying, even our own people, you know, they are called devils. Because this is uh, Yahweh Shai. He's cursing out the, the Pharisees. He says, ye are of your father, the devil. Which, if you go into that word devil, it means calumniator, a liar, you know, a false accuser. So even our own people are seen as devils, you know. In the in the beginning, 
let's say in the 2000s or 2010s when we we were young and coming up then we would see hebrew israelites calling um the so-called white man the devil but we're like huh you know you don't know the meaning of the word so you're like hey why how are they the devil you know that's that's uh, kind of you know uh, mm-hmm. um, not nice to say about somebody but now how we get older and we ourselves now we become sober through the truth you know now you understand why they were saying that because you dive into yeah. the words you understand what what the real meaning of the world dev, the word devil is not that that man with that pitchfork underneath the ground you know with the, with a, a tail and the horns no man so even our own people can be called the devil you see that's right but in this and, case yeah. you know like we just read in the uh, first peter's 5 first 8 your adversary, the devil, you know, he's like a roaring lion. He comes with with uh, trickery and with the uh, subtle uh, subtleties, you know. So you can't really um, see him when he's attacking. Exactly. Yeah, man. Beautiful, my brother. And that is what it is, man. Because uh, Esau is uh, is cunning, you know. He's like a, a serpent. He's really cunning, you know. He always gonna come on a certain. Uh, at a certain way at you that you think that he is really uh meaning it with you man that he's really like hey man hey i'm your friend you know i'm your best buddy and uh this is pursuing to uh the book of uh Sirach, chapter 12 you know never trust thy enemy man because he's that 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 rust that is on that iron you know and yeah. you think like hey man he's he's my big he's my best friend and no, no don't talk about isa like that man no he's my friend man he always is down with me man no man if you see that you false, man, he's gonna kick you more down, man. That's the way he is, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So, uh, do you have a do, do you have the uh, the book of uh, Ephesians for me? Uh, okay, sure. there's the book of Ephesians 6, verse 14. Or how are we gonna start from 11? Yes, you can start with the, uh, from 11. This is first, so like, this is Ephesians 6, verse 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that ye may be able to stand against the vows of the devil. You see? So that's why we need to be sober, man, like we was, uh, the brother was reading before, man. We need to put that whole armor of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Not uh, only the helmet, you know, no, the full armor. That means you know how the soldiers uh, back in the days was fully armored, armed, you know, with uh, with a breastplate, the helmet, you know, uh, even the legs. Everything was covered, the man. The shield, buckler, you know, everything was covered, man. You see, yeah. so that no no, no weapon uh, it was difficult to penetrate uh, <laughs> to you, man. You see, so yeah. that is the way you need to be uh, covered also with uh, the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. That whole truth, man. You know, and that is all you can do. That only by abide in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to be fully covered, man, and stay in the spirit, man. You see. And that's why you need to be sober, because if you're not sober, you're drunk. And you know what's happening when you're drunk. You're stumbling all over the place. You know, you're not focused. And uh, everything can happen to you. You're always seen with drunk people, man. If you if they are drinking too much, man, they are all over the place, man. And always they off they end up in a fight, things are happening, off the they get or the they have stuff with them, you know, uh, the money, keys, everything gets stolen from them because why? They are not vigilant, man. They are not circumspect. They don't see what is going on, man. That is what is going on with people, man. If you are drunk, and that is in the truth too, if you are not looking around and see what's going on, hey, man, hey, like the brother was reading, man, you're going to be devoured, man, by the lions, man. And the lion that is Esau, either, man, he's going to devour you, man. And you're going to fall for the trap. You're going to fall for the snare that they are laying down for you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And and if I may add, um, uh-huh. in this verse, if you go into that word, uh, whilst, whilst is uh, methodia, which means um, trickery, deceit, cunning arts, you know, mm-hmm. you, you already know who that's uh, talking about. <laughs> the cunning arts, yeah, man. You already know. 
So it's just uh, Esau, you know, Esau, he always comes with trickery and deceit. You can't trust him, you know. He comes with smooth words, but underneath uh, it's it's like uh, sharp sharp swords, you know, roughly paraphrasing the scripture. Mm -hmm. You know, they're undrawn swords, but he always comes with uh, those type of things, man. Wait a second, let me yeah, man. grab a scripture real quick. Come on. Job. He's the deaf adder, you know. He got that yeah. that 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 feminine uh, that feminine that is feminine in his tongue, man. Phantom, phantom. That real poison. Yeah, this is um, Job twenty. So, let me start off with uh, verse twelve. Job twenty, verse twelve. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still under his mouth. So like we were saying, you know, um, he, it's written here, though wickedness be sweet in his mouth. So he loves wickedness. That's this man. Yeah. He's, a, he's a, yeah. the white man. Which, uh, um, though he hide it under his tongue, so he ain't gonna talk about his wickedness. But he loves it, it's sweet in his mouth. Uh, though he spare it, he forsake it not. So he's hiding it in his mouth, but he's not forgetting it, he's not forsaking it. So when you're not looking, that's when he's gonna strike. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But keep it still in his mouth. So it's still there, but he's he, you can't see it. If you other Edomites, you know, I came into this country and you know I had to learn the hard way. You know, but Edomites know this about Edomites that you can't trust them. They can't trust their own race because they're stabbed. Yeah. They're gonna stab them in the back. But when I was here, yeah, that's right. you know, in the beginning, then, for example, I would wait in a in a row, and then you would have Jake. Of course, you have this row. You have to pull a ticket. Jake comes in the media mark. You know, so he pulls like five or ten tickets, <laughs> and then now, you know. He he waits, waits, waits until his turn, and when he uh, when his turn passes, and he looks around at Jake versus Jake. Okay, then he gives him the numbers <laughs> that come after him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's, that's dope, man. Jake is dope like that. You know, so he he helps his own. So the other people they they have a number uh, twenty or ten, you know, but then he has all the numbers that come be behind him. He's like, oh yeah, you Jake, you Jake, you Jake. You know, it's your turn. Yeah, Jake. yeah man. Jake is dope like, uh, like that, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So I have to relocate for a little bit because my charger, my tail is almost donsky. So let me put it on the charger. So lucky. Yeah. yeah, you can uh, you can break it down. Just pull out the scriptures, okay, if you want. Yeah. I also, uh, like you were saying, be sober and be vigilant. And there's this uh, scripture where it says, be circumspect. So, like, yeah. Yeah, this is Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5, verse 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahushai shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. So now, you know, we were sleeping, you know, we were... Uh, sleeping in the dust, we had that confusion in our in our uh, in our minds in our eyes. You see, like it's how it says in the book wow. of Daniel. And now that you are woken and you are sober, you are sober minded because you're you're not drunk with the philosophies of this world anymore. You know, you're not confused and and uh, you know staggering in daylight. You see. So yeah, what does yeah, it say? Yeah. See then that ye walk circumspectly. And if you go into that word circumspect, circum is around, you know, circular, mm -hmm. 360, circum, and spec comes from look. 
So you got to look around like, hey, you know, there's all uh, walking dead uh, around me. Yeah. All these people, you know, they're uh, dead from the neck up. You know, like the scripture yeah. says, he that uh, departed from the way. Let me see. We have understanding. This is a clean yeah. Man, this phone, I need to get another phone. Yeah, I don't, I don't. This is Proverbs 21, verse 16. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That's so right. That's what these people, man, these people, they, they are from also from the congregation of the dead because they don't walk with understanding. And what is understanding? When you have wisdom, knowledge of the Most High, then to apply that wisdom and knowledge, that is understanding, you know, to depart from wickedness. And these people, they yeah. they might hear the word, but still they continue in their wickedness, you know, then that makes yeah. you in the congregation of the dead. Then you're not in the congregation of the living, you know, the ones that do receive this wholeheartedly and gladly and walk uh, good in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, keeping themselves holy. You know, because that's what this book does. That's what the Bible does. The Bible cleanses you and makes you separate from the other people, from the congregation of the dead. And you become the congregation of the living uh, by way of uh, speech, you know. Yeah. So going back to the Ephesians, Ephesians 6, verse 11, put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, that ye may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, yeah, man. Take on, yeah. No, uh, like I was reading, man. So, because we see, man, that, hey, man, we're fighting against principalities, man. And uh, if you can look that we're not principalities, you know, mm -hmm. because the, the spiritual wickedness, man, you see, man, Esau's doing offerings, you know, uh, satanic offerings, uh, whole Hollywood with uh, uh, satanic rituals, you know, casting spells constantly, because that is what they are doing, man. They're casting spells upon the people through what? Media. To get your mind, you know, uh, totally uh, uh, captured by them, you know, so that you're gonna go off. That this is something normal, and that is what the way Esau Edom is working, and we, that's why we are not fighting against flesh and blood like that, man. We're fighting really against against uh, spiritual wickedness, like uh, stated in the book of Ephesians, man, because it is really heavy, man. The, the, sometimes you feel these demons, man, are pressing upon you, man. Yeah, my Arke. You have this word? Yeah, this is uh, Arke in uh, the in Greece, in Greek. Mm -hmm. So the outline of biblical usage says um, of angels and demons. You see? Angels of demons. And most of the time, we are dealing with demons, man. Because Esau, Edom, don't, don't make no mistake, man. He's a high-level witch. And what the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said, man, don't suffer a witch to live, man. He's a high level witch. He casting yeah. spells through the, to everything, man. Media. Man, I cannot name it, man. It's just too much, man. He's doing a lot of wickedness, man. And people, are, if you are not in the truth, you cannot see it. Just so you think this is flesh and blood. This is just a normal man. No, 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 man. He's working with highly satanic agendas and, uh, Doing all kinds of like uh, a bring my uh, most of which, you know, they got their riches, man. They fortune tellers, you know, <laughs> they pro, pro, uh, pro, uh, procrastinators, you know, telling them what is going to be in the future, this and that and that, you know. But soon or sooner or later, 
you're going to see that all these things, the, the Yao Ba Shem Yong Shai is going to bring everything to naught, man. They cannot predict the future anymore. And that was happened also in Egypt, man. You see? Pharaoh, his, uh, all these magicians, they couldn't predict the future anymore, man. You know, and Pharaoh was getting facts with his own, uh, with his own witches, because it were witches, man. Because they had a little bit, you know, of that uh, so-called wizardry, you see? And that is the way Esau is, is, is in that same spirit, man. You got the third yeah, project. Yeah, yeah kind of. No, no, speak on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got a CERN project, you know, that they uh, try to find the God particle, you know, it's all of the, there in Switzerland. And look at uh, the symbol that they got standing over there, man. That is uh, uh, one of these uh, Hindu gods, man. You see? Yeah, so that is yeah, the, 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 yeah, the water of destruction. Yeah, yeah. Yes, kind of like, yeah, the water. You see? Yeah. And that is the way Isa Edom is operating. So don't make no mistakes, man. He's a high-level witch, man, kind of. This is uh, Isaiah 47, verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Yeah, man, speak on it. Yeah, so like the brother was saying, you know, Esau, he is... Uh, He's on a highly satanic vibration, you know. He's a, a witch, warlock, you know, whatever uh, they they uh, call those. You know, the, the, the men are the warlocks and the, the female are the witches. But these are the, the people that use mass incantations on our people. How do they usually project that? Look at uh, the shows of this this goddamn rapper. Well, what's his name again? You know, people be dying at his shows and shit. But also oh. all other. Uh, what's yeah. his name? What was his name again? Wait, um, T Tyler, Taylor, Tyler, something. Um, Tyler, uh, Tyler, uh, the creator. No, 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 it's not that guy. No, 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 not him. Maybe you can look it up. But yeah, man, that's that's uh, what these people do, you know, behind clo behind the scene because it's the. Is the elite that are programming the people. They are putting... If you go to the music industry, the music industry is being run by who? By the so-called Jewish people, right? And everything has to go through them. When you make a song, they are going to uh, um, listen to it. They're like, no, 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 we're going to tweak it like this, put lower the, the frequency, put it on this frequency. Yeah. We're going to go into the basement, you know, put a chance on it or whatnot. And... Uh, uh, I, I call it um, back, uh, you know, when they play it in reverse, then it says satanic. Oh, they play uh, it in reverse, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they play, they, yeah, <laughs> they play it in reverse, and then you hear the the real actual message in it, what they try to uh, bring to the people, and the, yeah, that yeah. is what they do. And like, JC like also, man. And this this guy Fetty Wap also, you know, I don't know what yeah, this yeah. is. They 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 spewed him out, but he was openly like, "I'm a devil worshiper." Those kind of things mm -hmm. he's saying in his songs. And I saw, I saw this this uh, this clip from what's this chick name? This this a new chick on the Doja block. Cat. Yeah, Doja Cat with the demons. I already know, brother, with the demons, man. That is a serious. She's she's true, man. She's done. Yeah. <laughs> You know, she got a track, man, and she is, I'm a demon lord, and all these things she is saying, man. You'll be like, hey, man, and you hear the frequency of the of the, of the the music, you'll be like, hey, she's a, she's a complete demon. She even altered herself like a demon, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah, man. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the clip. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, man. And this is what they, they show on MTV or on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Okay, so so you get the point. You know, the Jewish people, so-called Jewish people, they um, run all the things behind closed doors, you know, behind the scenes. So they are the ones that are putting incantations on the soundtracks, on the, on the music, and they are yeah. putting it out for the people to hear, you know, so that they be put in a trance or do things without even knowing why. You know, if you look at certain people, certain people have certain tattoos of, of uh, 
uh, ankh, you know, which is a uh, women worship or a tattoo of an eye, you know, the all seeing mm -hmm. eye. And if you ask them why they have it, I don't know. I just liked it because it's subliminal messages. It's continually yeah. put in, in your eyes and you see it, you, you know, your subconscious, it, it uh, catches it and all of a sudden you start to like it. It's like with these uh, things also with these um, bitches. He's also a warlock. The ones that mm -hmm. do these street street magic shows, you know, they always. Oh, yeah. For example, yeah. they tell you, "Hey, pick a card, pick a pick a, a symbol, you know, a heart or or something." And what do they do? They follow the person, you know. And during the day, they, all they show these per these people are hearts. So it's already seared in your mind, like, "Hey, if somebody asks me something, the first uh, thought that is going to pop in my mind is this a uh, heart for or you know not a diamond or whatnot the, the other uh, how do you call it diamond and the heart and the two others uh, yeah um diamond heart uh i don't know how you say it in in the english but you know there's all predictive programming so like the brother was saying with uh, media they're doing it but also once you step out the door with billboards, all those type of things, you're you're being blasted with a a, a certain frequency, man. So yeah, man. that's why it says uh, Isaiah forty-seven verse twelve: Stand now with thine incantations and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. So Esau, since since the beginning, he's been about. Um, witchcraft and uh, been a warlock you know in spirit yeah also man. Yeah. going back to to america america is, is based on, upon that paris places all these places are is being based on the bones of uh of the israelites you know yeah they use those bones and do witchcraft with them to establish their cities so now the most high is mocking uh, Esau, like, okay, stand now with your enchantments and the sorceries yeah. where, where which you built all your cities and stuff, you see? If so yeah, be, yeah. thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest pr prevail. But it's not going to be. This is this a rhetorical question, you see? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got it up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's like the brother is saying, man, that, hey, man. Hey, Babylon would be healed, but she can't be healed, man. There is no balm for the pain, man. She gonna get, gonna be destroyed, man. And that is what is gonna happen with this kingdom, man. It, the the wickedness reached the heavens, man. And hey, the Lord, uh, the Lord hears everything, man. And the Lord is be like, hey, there is no forgiveness, no repentance for the Edomites, man. Esau, Edom, man. You see, like the brother was saying, man. And uh, like you were saying about the card deck. Uh, I looked it up very quick. And you have you got clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to for the audience, you know. So yeah, man. So that is what it is, man. So yeah, man. So you know, you know how it goes, man. Through the spirit, you know, things are popping up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to speak on it, you know, so that the people. Uh, um, they they feel and they witness what we witness, you know. If you don't tell them, we you know we seen these things, we know them. We that's why our mind is girded, you know. Our mind yep. is girded with the truth. Our mind is you know, when we see these things, we are not swayed, you know. We are not drunk and like hey, yeah, I like that, I like that. I want to put mm -hmm. that on my body, you know. I want to put a tattoo of an all-seeing eye or a pyramid or a, you know. A, 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 all those type of wickedness. Mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. People got shit on That's... their body. They don't even know what it is. Like, yeah, I just <laughs> like it. I just like it. Yeah, I got the I got the three sixes on my body. I just like it. It's got nothing to do with satanic stuff. It's just normal. <laughs> I got a buff on it uh, on my on, on my show. I just like it, man. Yeah, man. People are like that, man. Goddess that I don't know which yeah. goddess that is exactly, but the the women they like the goddess with the wings. Yeah, um, is that not uh, what is the name, man? Uh, it's not Isis, but uh, let me look it up. That's why you know the scripture says, you know, that's Babylon. This time that we're living in is Babylon is ruling Babylon the Great. 
you know, not ancient yeah, Babylon, yeah. but the daughter of Babylon, because all the gods from before, you know, they're back, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yes, ISIS. Yes, ISIS. Yeah, it was real Isis. I thought I already thought this Isis a lot. The winged goddess, goddess Isis, not the goddess of the sky, uh, of the sky, is often depicted with outstretched wings. But similar representations are also known for the goddess Isis. Yeah. Yeah. Even the everybody's favorite rapper Tupac. Got all these Egyptian, uh, he got a few <laughs> Egyptian tattoos on him, man. You know, yeah, 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 man. So, uh, going back to Ephesians 6, verse 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Yeah, man, speak on the talk. Yeah, man, so this is uh, basically what the lesson is about, you know, where you're supposed to be girded about the paps, you know, which is your, your loins, your midsection with the truth, you know. That's very important. That's not going to let you stagger and, and uh, sway left and right. Let me get the, the precept to back that up. Mm -hmm. This is uh, First Peter 1, verse 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to be, so like, and hope to the end of the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai. So here it says, wherefore gird up the loins of your mind. You know, in the other one it says, uh, having your loins gird with the truth. So it basically goes back to your mind. You should, uh, um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, protect, protect your mind. How? With the truth. You know, yeah. like the scripture says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So now you have received the truth and you have to use the truth as a continual filter, man, when you're walking down the street, when you're seeing things. You know, it's like that uh, movie They Live. I think it's They Live, mm -hmm. you know, with the, with the glasses. Everybody yeah, is yeah. seeing everything normal, but if he puts on the, the real glasses, you know, and for us it's this truth, then you see all dead people walking, congregation of the dead, you see? But when you see yeah, right. something that is, that is uh, pure and true, then you're going to recognize it. How? To the truth. And it says, be sober. Why? Because I've got a precept here. This is Jeremiah 51, verse 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. You see? So Babylon, the great America, spreading all this... Uh, these incantations, uh, putting out all these sorceries upon people, you know, putting all these um, abominable old uh, goddesses and gods, the Egyptian gods, the Babylonian gods upon people. Everybody has drunk enough of that, that wine because that's their, their philosophies, you know. And everybody's yeah. mad at her right now. That's why the scripture says, be sober. You shouldn't consume that. Otherwise, it's, you're going to stagger in 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 day in the uh, noonday. You know, you're you're going to be persuaded by their ways. But we should be sober-minded, clear-minded, clear-headed, like the title says. You know, yeah, how yeah. through the truth by being circumspect, by being on your guard continually. You see, and hope to yeah. the end of the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, man, and you already know, uh, what was it? Ephesians 2 and 8 says, we are saved through grace. This is Ephesians 2 yes. verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And you are going That's to be right. saved by the gift of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai at the revealing 
of Yahushua. And when he's going to come, he's going to come in his glorious body. And we are also going to be changed into a, a different body, glorious body, an extraterrestrial yeah. body. Yeah, man. It's yeah, yeah, a corruptible. Can't, because this corruptible need to put the... Uh, that uh, this corruptible body need to put that incorruptible body, man. And that is what that uh, is all about, man. You know, and that's why we are fighting, man, to you know, to for that blessing, man. And I got a scripture, uh, uh, Luke chapter 12, verse 35. Uh, let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. You see, so. Like the brother was reading, man, this is all about you need to put that light, that light in front of you, man. And that light is who? Yahweh Shai, man. You see? So if you are in this truth, if you are abide in this truth, if you are in the scriptures, if you are in Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, that is that light, man. You ain't going to be in darkness, man. And then you are covered, man. Then you, like we was reading in the book of Ephesians, man, then you get that helmet, man, the whole armor of the heavenly father, man. And it's only begotten son, because that is what it's all about, man. To wear that, man. If you wear that, man, hey, if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is with you, nobody can be against you, man. And that is what it is, man. Because he made sure that, hey, man, he directed our steps. He made sure that, hey, things had happened with you. But you need to be sober first, man. Because if you're doing things that is they, like you are a drunken man, hey, the Heavenly Father ain't dealing with you, man. Because then he sees that you got the unruly spirit. And if you have an unruly spirit, hey, the Heavenly Father cannot uh, walk with you, man. You need to be in, uh, you need to be totally in tune with the Heavenly Father and His Holy Begotten Son, man. You see, to the best of your abilities. Because if you see that you try, because you know, like the brother was saying, we got these corruptible bodies, man. But if you see that you try and to the best of your ability with everything that you got, hey, the Heavenly Father is going to be with you, man. You see? So, yeah, my aunt, you got a scripture? Yeah, this is uh, Romans 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye yeah. may prove that which is good, that what that is good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So yeah, man, you should yeah, be conf uh, uh, conformed to this world, you know, like we were going into you. you we try to break down to you what this world is all about, you know. The the world that you see is not really uh, what you see, you know. This place is being ruled by um, uh, principalities and also by uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. So things might look beautiful on the outside, but uh, on the inside is rotten, you know. And we're here to explain to you that you have to gird your mind with this truth. You have to be sober. Don't be drunk with these philosophies of these people that, you know, uh, uh, what you see is what you get. No, man. What you see is not what you get. This is a trickery. You see? So don't be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, like we were explaining. You have to uh, gird your mind with the truth. So you have to, it's, it's, it's all starts in your mind, you know? You have to yeah. uh, wash your mind also with the truth, with the scriptures daily, you know, to 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 um, have that force field around you, you know, to be untouchable, to have that armor of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai around you, because we are reading that, but actually it goes it goes on to say in Ephesians, Ephesians five verse, so like a, Ephesians six verse fifteen, and your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace, which the word gospel is good news, and it, yeah. the, the end of it is actually peace, you know, and of course, before there's peace, there has to be war, like it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, you know, there's a time for yes. war and there's a time for peace. If there's no war, there's not going to be peace. Um, verse 16, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, which the faith, we, we uh, read that uh, grace is a gift of the Most High, you know? 
we have this grace period right now. And what are you supposed to do with that grace period? You're supposed to increase in faith and increase in faith in Yahweh Shai, increase in faith in Yahweh also. You know, you have to be like our forefathers. You have to meet a certain certain measure of faith where you're like, no, I'm going to leave everything in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's hands. You know, we were in the world. The scripture says, be not conformed to the world, but we were in the world and we were thinking with our own mind, like, hey, I got to be in control and stay in control. I want this and this and this to happen. But now, you know, being seasoned in the truth, being, uh, you know, um, in the truth for a couple of years, you you see like, hey, of course you have to plan out your things normally, but you're not in control, man. The more you Hell. tighten up your grip, then you're going to see, you know, you're going to build up anxiety and stuff like that. No, man, everything is in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai's hands. You know, that's the the faith, the, the shield of faith that we have to have for 17. Yeah, man. And take the helmet of quick. self. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because you were saying, uh, because we were thinking with our mind, you know, and the, the, the <laughs> hey, uh, I have a quick scripture on that because you were saying that uh, this is yeah. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You see, yeah. like the brother is saying, man, <laughs> you cannot trust upon your own mind, man, on your own and the heart. Salakia in is the Hebrew word is uh, lap, you know, and that means mind, you know, and uh, our mind is wicked, man. You cannot trust on your mind. You cannot, you know, like the brother was saying, man, you go in all things and you do, if you think with your mind, you go in to do things, man, and you're going to find out like, hey, man, I'm not in control. You cannot do nothing. Your mind is deceiving you. And like the brother is saying, that's why we need to put that trust in Yahweh Shai. And again, because why? Because we are in these corruptible bodies, man. So you cannot depend on your own mind, man. First, the Heavenly Father got to set us straight. Then in the due time, and we following this, you know, this, this, then we're gonna be straight, man. You can't act like yeah, what the, yeah. add that to uh, to what you were saying. No problem. That's uh, it's good because that's what uh, what we read also in Romans twelve. You know, you have to transform and renew your mind. And what does it say? That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect. The will of Yahweh and how do you come? Uh, who come here after? Uh, how do you know what the will of the Most High is? Like the brother says, this, this, read it, abuse it. Look at my Bible. You know, it's starting <laughs> to fall apart. But then you're going to get the will of Yahweh You're going to understand, like, okay, we we are corrupted. We were corrupted. We were in darkness. You know, and this is that that um, that truth where which you have to gird your mind, man. That's right. Uh, so going back, let me see. Let me finish it off. Ephesians six, verse sixteen. Above all, taking um, I already read that verse seventeen, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, man. So the salvation is through Yahweh Shai. That's the helmet, you know, and then you have the sword of the spirit, like it says in Hebrews 4 and 12, you know, the the, the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is like a, a quick and like a two-edged sword, you know, piercing asunder bone, uh, mold, bone and marrow, everything, you see? So I see the brother had some uh, technical difficulties. But yeah, man, um, let me see. What did I have? Let me read on in uh, First Peter, First Peter 1, verse 14. Well, let me start at 13 again. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end of the grace so to the purpose for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revel revelation of Yahweh Shaya Mashiach, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. You see, we were speaking about the former lust that you didn't have no 
idea of what you were actually getting yourself into, you know, when you were in the world. But now that your mind is fortified with this truth, you know, now that you have this truth as a filter, then you see that you were walking in your lusts, you know, because it also says in the book of James, uh, chapter one, that you can't um, say that the most high is tempting man to, to, you know, take you away out of this truth. No, you weren't tempted by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, but you were tempted by your own lust. You see, you're being tempted by your flesh. So reading on, verse 15. But as he which had called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Yeah, man. Hey, so like, yeah. Like, yeah. My telephone was overheated, so <laughs> the, uh, the, it's hot over here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Salakia, salakia. No, but uh, I'm at verse 15. You know, we can uh, close it off after this. Is it going okay, to okay. Uh, hold your phone? or? Yeah, we can okay. go to verse 15. It's going to hold. Okay. So this is um, First Peter's 1, verse 15. But as he which had called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. So you can go also to the Romans 12 to explain that because the Most High, he is holy and he also wants you to be holy. You see? Yes. Sorry. This is uh, Romans 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, which is your reasonable service. So, we, our body is a living sacrifice. And what do you do? You try to keep your body holy so that the uh, um, your sacrifice is going to be accepted by the Most High. So that's why you don't want to defile your temple. You already also know that your body is the temple of the Most High. You know, and in a malicious body, in a malicious soul, wisdom shall not dwell. So that's right. all these things, you got to keep yourself uh, holy, man. Separate yourself from these these uh, either nations, because that's where it all started to, to go down the drain, man. You know, now, like the brother said, you know, we're in Turkey, but still... We look good after our goings, like, hey, here you have a, a buffet or food, you know? Look at yeah. the ingredients. You see uh, pasta with shrimp? No, don't eat it. You see, no, don't eat it. You see uh, fish? I'm like, oh, let me Google that fish, man. Let me see. Uh, what was it? I forgot what, what it was. No scales. Yeah, if it doesn't... But even, you know, I was, I was doubting... Let me see. Google Chrome. I don't have it here. But I was, uh, I, I looked up the picture, but I still was doubting it. So I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. But this this uh, morning I had, for example, uh, was it sea bars? I don't know if you say mm -hmm. that in ex in exactly in English, but I know it for sure that has skills. You know? That is, yeah, that has skills. And fins. So, uh, these things we, we we look out for our going man because we know that our body is that sacrifice to the most high so you want to keep it holy you see Fine. yeah man so, uh, uh, um, yeah you want me to read on a little bit kind you can read on a little bit huh? so this is uh first peter one for 16. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of person, judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. Yeah, and this is also uh, very spiritual, because we are in a spiritual journey, because that's why it says... Pass the time of your sojourning here in fear, because our forefathers they were uh, sojourners to the land of um, Israel, 
but we are making a spiritual journey unto the kingdom of heaven. You see? And God. of course, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble, who knows, we are going to be pilgrims on the earth, but now we are busy with a spiritual uh, journey. And uh, it says you have to pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. And what does that mean? You have to be Philippians 2, verse 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You see, that's that fear. You have to have the fear for you how much in your side. Because the most yeah, high he, he gave you the booklet. This is the booklet of this is the instruction manual of the judgments of the Most High, how he works. You already see the brother, he also made a video upon all these uh, natural disasters. Why? Because of the pride of the cities, because of, of wickedness is at all-time high. So the Most High is he's like, okay, bing, time's up, judgment. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. So we have to walk in fear that judgments of the Most High don't fall upon us. You see, you know, you know, if you do a certain act that the most high hates it the most high finds it abominable the most high he's going to uh, he has all reasons to judge you for what you're doing you know breaking the, uh, shabbat and stuff like that you know of course we're we're uh human you know and we're in captivity so we can make a mistake but the most high knows your heart if you intentionally are breaking the sabbath with something you know that you, yeah. that's that's way here. You know you have certain laws Fine. that you know you break it like shit. I forgot real quick, but then you have other ones that you think you're smart because that's when the demon creeps in your mind. And if you look up the word demon, it means uh, what was it, cunning or wise, something like that. Mm -hmm. So you're like, no nah, man, if I figure it out, if I do it like that, then nobody's gonna know. The most high is going to know. You know? He's everything. We cannot hide nothing for the most high, man. He sees everything. His eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, man. So he knows all your dark, deep, uh, deep, uh, deeper secrets, man. And people, like the brother, they say, man, people always got the attention, like, hey, man, I can do it. I can do it quietly. I can. No, man. Yao Bashem Yao Shai sees it, man. And uh, it's a common thing in the brotherhood, too, that we always see, like, hey, man, uh, back in the days, we had somebody, you know, um, he was amongst us. He was not really in the camp, but he was amongst us. And uh, he smoked, man. He smoked. Uh, he was still smoking uh, weed and everything. And brothers started to dream about it, man, that, hey, man, yeah. I've been smoking, you know. So the most high put it in, our, in us to uh, to uh, reveal what you was, are doing, man. So we see you, man. You see? So the brothers was like, hey, man, hey, man, I dreamt I was smoking marijuana, man. Hey, what the hell, man? You know, and the other brother said, listen to, you see? And then we find out like, hey, man, there was somebody amongst us, you know, who still was smoking uh, weed, man. You see? And then it came out, man. And that's the way Yahweh Bachem Yahweh is exposing you, man. And uh, <laughs> things is being seen like, hey, what you're doing, man. You see? And you're going to get rebuked for it, man. And in the worst case, hey, man, you're going to get kick the F out, man. You see? So that's why, like, the brother is reading, it is very terrible, you know, to fail in the hands of the Heavenly Father of that he's kicking you out, man. That's why we also need to walk in fear, you know? It is not like, oh, man, I'm now in the truth, so I can do whatever I want. Let me tell you, that is more, uh, it is for you, even worse, if you know the truth and willingly and willful sinning, man, you see, if you do that, man, your punishment is going to be more terrible than somebody who really didn't know, man. You see, because you knew that, hey, man, hey, man, this is a sin, man. Yeah, and still you are doing it, man. The most high is going to punish you more, <laughs> worse than somebody who didn't know, man. That's why we have to, we need to walk in more fear for the heavenly father, man. And it's only begotten son, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, man. You see, Kanak, yeah. Yeah, I got a precept on that. Come. This is um, this is Luke twelve, verse forty-seven. 
Yeah, Luke 12 and 47. And that servant, which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. You see? <laughs> you see? That is what it is, man. Because you knew, man. You knew about this truth, man. You know, you know the will of the heavenly Father and His Holy Begotten Son. And still, you want to do wickedly, man. Hey, you're gonna get more, and you're gonna get beat the worse, man. You're gonna get the worse, more, more worse punishment from the heavenly Father, you know, than somebody who really didn't know. That's why it's also a scripture that says, man, uh, 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 it is better that you didn't know. I uh, forget the scripture, man. I know my brother got it, man. You know, because it is better for you that you didn't know than that you are know the, about this truth, man. You see? That's why we need to walk, man. We, you need to walk on thin ice with the Heavenly Father, man. man. You cannot do like, hey, man, hey, I'm in the truth, so now I know I'm an Israelite. And you see? Because you see a lot of, uh, uh, let me say, uh, especially on the groups, you know. They, you know, they like the brother was saying, they're talking about you can pop your woman on the Shabbat, uh, all these things, man. So then you're doing things that is going against the happy part because you know that you're an Israelite. If you uh, stick to the scriptures, you know, and don't try to, like the brother was going in before, that you uh, are, are deceiving really your own self, your own mind, you know, because you want to think that you are the clever one, you know, you can pull a fast one on the happy father. Man, hey, you going off, man. You see, you really going off, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, so like, like, yeah. Uh, like what the scripture also says, was it Ecclesiastes 7? Let me grab a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes 8, Ecclesiastes 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Exactly, man. You see? That's why, you know, and you see, uh, because our people, because sometimes you see, hey, judge me, man, I can do it today. Nothing happened. Man, I'm going to do it next week. Uh, nothing happened. I'm going to do it after two weeks. Nothing happened. Man, I can continue. But hey man, that's why you think like hey, you can do what you want and you're gonna you're gonna wax worse and worse for doing evil, man. And that is the sons of man and the Israelites, man. You see? This is talking about us, man. You see, that's why you see our forefathers and everything what they was doing, they was like, Hey man, because Yahweh Bashim is slow to wrath, man. You know? He way patiently, you know, he let you, you were really building your things up, man. And then the judgment is going to come, man. You know, it's like that hammer, then bam, you're going to get squashed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, man. It's no joke, man. Can I get? I had that yeah, beautiful. For you. This is uh, mm -hmm. Second Peter 2, verse 21. For it had been better. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this one. One, one, one higher. This uh, Second Peter 2, verse 20. For if after they have escaped the pollution of the world, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Ooh, you hear that? Ooh, fire. And it's, and it's exactly what ah. we're going into, you know, the pollution of this world. You know, it's bringing yeah. it, the Spirit is bringing it out even, even more beautiful, you know. This place is polluted. Ah. This this place you shouldn't be in love with this place you shouldn't be uh, um, drunk at by rest. all the 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 at rest but also drunk mm -hmm. with all these mm -hmm. philosophies like hey this is this you know I'm living it up here I'm speaking about spiritually drunk you know spiritually uh, entangled yeah. with their philosophies and stuff you know God. of course we can drink you know of we course. can drink uh, wine whiskey all those things so. It's not speaking about that. It's speaking about their philosophies. You know, you should be sober-minded right. and, and keep uh, keep your eye open, be circumspect. But it says, uh, for if so, like for if after they have escaped the pollution of the world 
through the knowledge of Yahu of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse than them than the beginning, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. To fire. That is what it is, man. So if you, you know, you've been in the world, you know, and you know now, you, you get washed with the with the scriptures, with the holy word of the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, you know, now you know, now you know the truth. But then you're gonna fall back again in this world. You're going back again, you know, you fell for the snares and traps of this world. You get polluted again, hey man. That 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 punishment that you're gonna get from Yahweh Bashem El Chai, man, is gonna be horrible, man. Because you knew, man, and that is something that Yahweh Bashem El Chai, hey man, he don't like that, man. That makes him more sex, man, because then he better he rather has that you be one that didn't know about his truth. You know? That okay, you are wicked, but you didn't know. But if you know, man, hey, that is horrible, man. I don't want to be that uh, person, man. If you're thinking about it, man, I can't, you know, yeah, they, yeah. hey, wow, man. Whew. Like you said, it's it's instilling even more fear in you now. You know, you always God. prayed, like, what is my purpose? What am I supposed to do? Because, you know, the things of the world, to us, it wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't have the oomph anymore. It was like, yeah, you know, you, I think you, me, all the brothers, mm -hmm. you know, after a while, we're like, hey, is this everything? Is this what I have to live for? But then you, you, exactly. you sincerely pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and then he starts to open your mind, open your eye, you know, you, wisdom walks with you in crooked ways, and then you get this truth. You know, the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is the beginning of wisdom, but then when, once you're in it, then it instills even more fear in you like what i said like we said like what i said you know this is the booklet the instruction manual of how the most high works and judges the place how he how he operates so you know the the if you take a step left or a step right that the most high doesn't like that he wants you to walk straight then it's it's your own it's your own damn fault because you That's had right. the, you had the the cheap coats. This is the cheap coats of life. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, man. Can I add a little, a quick little thing? Like you're saying, it's like, uh, and this is also for Esau either, man. He he got this book, you know, and he know uh, a few things, a few. Let me say a lot of things, you know. But still, he want to do it on the left hand side. You see, mm -hmm. but he got. That's why in uh, Psalm 50. Uh, started with uh, verse 16. That's why Yahweh Bashem El Shai said, Hey, what you got to do with this book, man, with my law, statutes, and commandments? You see, because you swear, uh, you swear on it, you know, you, you brought it in all the schools, so called, you try to live by these laws, but you don't follow none of these laws, man. That's why the earth is totally in a, in a, in a mess. Because why? You had this book. This is like the brother is saying, this instruction book, how to govern the earth, how to uh, govern uh, people and yourself and to behave and walk, uh, walk correctly. But you didn't do it, man. Because you come in that, like the brother was reading before, you are a wizard, man, a warlock, man. <laughs> you know, yeah. you want to do it by yourself. You in that Alistair uh, Crawley spirit, man, do what I will. And that is that real, that is real, that real you, man. And a lot of you two thirds, uh, Israelites, you Jakes, you also now coming in, uh, in the spirit, like the brother was reading, you of your father, the devil, man. You see? Because the things of the name you are doing, man. Can I give? <laughs> so, this is, uh, Hebrews 11. No, this is Hebrews 10, verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Woo! Another cut. Fire. You yeah. see? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has no pleasure in you, man, if you are drawn back. It's like you holding the, uh, also holding the plow, you know, you're doing this work, and then you take your hand off of the plow, man. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai don't like that, man. You know? You, if you fall back, man, if you be like, hey, man, you start half plowing the field. What is that, man? You need to plow the whole field, man. So we also, need to endure to the end. Yeah. 
I have it. This is Luke 9, Amen. verse 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, you see? So, hey, if you fall back, man, there's going to be no kingdom of heaven for you, man. That's why we all, we said also like, hey, man, Yahweh Rakasa, Lord willing, we are uh, of this man. You know, because nobody knows who's written in the book of life, man. You see? So if you fall back, man, hey, you, you certainly ain't going to make it to the kingdom, man. Because, hey, like the brother was reading, the, the heavenly father, Yahweh Shemeshai, he don't delight in you, man. He'd be like, hey, man, hey, get away from me, man. Get get, 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 get. <laughs> yeah, you know? Right. Yeah, man. Come on, like, yeah. And like it says, uh, Luke 9, verse 62, and Yahushai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow doing this work and looking back, you know, you shouldn't look back, is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. This Luke 17, verse 32, remember Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, remember her, man. You see, she looked look back, what has happened to her, man? Turned to a pillow of salt <laughs> till it was commanded of her not to do it, man. And still, because why? She loved the world too much, man. And it even was uh, the, uh, the riches of her. It was of her man, of Lot. You see? But still, she was like, yeah. eh. You know? She and look what happened to her, man. Sodom and Gomorrah. She, she loved all exactly. the wickedness there. Yeah. Oh, let me not say it like that, but uh, knowing that those people are so wicked, how can you look at that place and be like, no. Nah. I put my everything in that house. I put my everything there, you know. So, so she's like, yeah, exactly. Hey, that's how that's how women sometimes are, man. You know, they're yeah, materialistic beings, but we, you know, we're spiritual. You know, the Most High works through men, but also that's you right. have a couple of women, of course, that are that believe in the truth. But no, nah, man, you you can't be loving the world like that. You live in the world, but don't love the world like that, man. Exactly. This is um, yeah. First John, First John two, verse fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yeah, man. You see, so if you love this world, man, love the things in this world. That's why you see the Heavenly Father is not with you, man. And it was also an account with uh, uh, one of these rich men. You know, he asked you, I was shy, like, hey, man, what I have to do, you know, to, to abide with you? And, you know, can, can, that Yahweh Bashem said that the Heavenly Father is loving me and I can come in the kingdom. Hey, he said to him, S sell all your riches, man. And follow me. Because if and follow me. So this is this is what you got to do, man. If you want to be with your how much I ain't telling you like you need to be that poor, but hey man, if you got the riches and you got everything, you know, hey, hey, drop it in an instant if your shy said, Hey man, follow me, man. Because riches is gonna corrupt your heart, man. You see? Because yeah, yeah. you're gonna have love for this world, man. Because, you see, you know we you should be able to drop it just like that. You know, you should be in that mindset. Like the brother said, um, we are not telling you to now stop working, stop everything instantly. No, but you need to not love the world. You need to um, be able to just, with a flick of a, a finger, be like, hey, when Yahweh is here, or when, when Jacob's trouble hits, you're, you should be able to drop everything just like that. You know, this is right. temporary. Because it also says right. um, First Peter's, but you said you know all those things, those riches, you know that can work against you. But it's the love of money, you know, the like love. Yes, because it's the money love. is a defense. Yes. You know, money. We need money to do uh, what you want to do. And also, the scripture says, uh, it was um, leer, uh, a leisure, uh, a, a wise leisure. man." Yeah, a, my, yeah, a man is yeah. going to be wise through leisure. And what is leisure? When you don't have uh, too much business to tend to, that you don't have too much uh, work to do, you know? And That's those right. are what kings have. Kings have leisure time. You know, everything, they, they, they got riches already, so they have enough leisure time. Yeah, that's right. So, okay. that's, uh, that's that. 
but this is a uh, first John three for sixteen. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai abideth forever. Yeah, man. Speak on it, Akia. Yeah, so you see, everything that you that's in the world is the lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh. You know, like we were speaking about in the beginning, you know, scripture is coming out and backing it up perfectly. You mm -hmm. see, so the things you shouldn't be uh, um, enticed by what you see and, and by the lust of your flesh, you know, and it shouldn't be become that even so, so, um, so big in you. Yeah, not so big in you. It shouldn't be become something that is going to, um, let you be obsessed with it, you know? Of exactly. course, you yeah. have to be in balance, you know, you have to feed the f uh, flesh, feed the spirit, feed the flesh, feed the spirit, one, mm -hmm. one step left, one step right, you know, otherwise you can't come uh, forward, you know? That's right. Because what are you going to do? You're going to stand on the, the, your right foot continually and hop, 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 you're going to get tired, man. <laughs> yeah. you know? F so you have, to, you have to stay in balance, you know? But you can't be too much. Uh, you can't be over righteous and not over wicked, overly wicked. You see, so you have to stay in balance, man. But you should be able to, if the Most High calls you, you should be able to drop everything in the world with a, in a, in, a, in an instant. That's what That's this right. scripture is, is explaining. You be mentally prepared. You know, That's like right. how we are preparing you mentally. You know, with the truth, gird your mind with the truth. You know, that you, uh, the fiery darts of Satan doesn't pierce you, but also when the Most High calls, then you should be of a ready mind, you know, like the Church of Berea. Mm -hmm. That's right. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah man. I think yeah. those were all the scriptures that I have. Yeah. I don't know if you have. Yeah, uh, me too. No, this was all, all I had. Uh, I got uh, I got maybe a last one maybe to close it out. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I got the Romans thirteen over here. Romans thirteen and thirteen. Let me see. Yeah, this is Romans chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. Let us walk honestly, as in the day. Not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. But put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamasiyah and make not a uh, profession for the flesh to fulfill the loss thereof. Yeah. Speak on it. Boom. 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 See, we're talking <laughs> about the flesh because I think, let me, let's go into that word profession. Like, yeah. because that's what it's all about man the flesh is pulling you and tugging you on one side while you are in the truth you know and uh what's uh, satan satan he knows that you know your flesh is your weak spot so he's putting certain things in front of you like hey that it that are gonna make your knees buckle but you shouldn't buckle yeah, because we know what is at the end of the tunnel. You know, we have the vision. The fix it, victory is already written. That's right. So, this is the word. Oh no, there's the next verse. Romans thirteen, verse fourteen. Provision. Pronoia, and the outline of the book use it says forethought, providential care to make provision for a thing. Forethought. So, and make no forethought for the for the flesh. Ex exactly what we were speaking about, you know. Forethought is is a is a you know, mm -hmm. for the flesh, 
Like, hey, on Sabbath, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, I'm going to be wiser, you know. Slither, mm -hmm. slither uh, through through a small hole so that the most high can't see me. You know, I'm going to be sneaky with it. No, man. Don't, don't give the flesh no occasion when you know that the most high, he wants you to, to do certain things on certain days or, or a certain way. You know? That's right. So don't uh, give no provision for the flesh. You see? And let us not walk. Uh, you have to walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness. And that's spiritually speaking, you know? You shouldn't be yeah, spiritually yeah. Uh, drunken with all these philosophies. Still going back to that. Be sober-minded, be clear-headed, not intoxicated. That's right. Yeah, man. It's a beautiful uh, ending, man. God. Description. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man. We, you know, like the brother saying, man, and especially in this time, man, hey, man, be sober, man. Be sober-minded, man. Don't be intoxicated and, you know, walking around because, hey, time is short, man. Like Apostle Tahara said, man, the, this, this, the spiritual arc is, is, is closing, man. And we think maybe already that the elect are sealed, man. That is what Apostle Tahar said, man. You see? Because, hey, now everything is going quick, man. So, hey, hey gear, gear up your loins, man. You see? That is what we need to do, man, in this time, man. So, yeah, man. You can you close out, Akia. Okay? God, so that we want to say all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, double honors to the elders and apostles of great mills for teaching us the truth and we rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word as necessary and in truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.